Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to disable widgets on your Windows 11 computer. So this should all be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best result, should come back with registry editor. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, all you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select File and then Import and then navigate to the file location. And now we're ready to begin. So we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the Software folder, so double click on that. There should be a Policies folder in here, double click on it. And then finally there should be a Microsoft folder, double click on that one. And if you need to take note of our file path, you can see up at the top of the screen, each backslash is a different sub key that we've been under up to this point. So on the Microsoft folder, you want to right click on it, select new, and then select key. Name this key DSH, exactly how you see it on my screen. So again, capital D, lowercase sh, and then you can click outside of it to save it. And now on the right side, you want to right click in a blank area while having the DSH key selected, so you're under the DSH key. So again, on the right panel, right-click in a blank area, select New, and then select the word 32-bit value. You want to name this value Allow News and Interest, exactly how you see it on my screen. So again, Allow News and Interest, and that's plural, so Allow News and Interest. Hit Enter on your keyboard to save that. And now you want to go ahead and double click on this value and make sure the value data is set to zero, which it should automatically be here. And now that you've done that, go ahead and select OK. And you will need to close out of the registry editor at this time and you will need to restart your computer for the change to take effect. And there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward process. And as always, thank you for watching. Do a buzz able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.